Hello and welcome to Track Nut. Today I'm going to be showing you how to correctly tension your chain. It's very important guys and you probably see a lot of guys out there on the tracks, on the roads who neglect their chain that looks old. Um, most likely there's going to be some tight spots, some loose spots. We want to correctly look after our chain because it does actually put out all the torque and drive from a rear wheel. The only dri uh, driven wheel on a motorcycle is, it is actually a crucial part. So I'm going to show you how to set up 30 to 45 mil worth of tension on your chain equally. Let's go. Guys, so right of screen, I'm on the axle here. So I've, I've measured off my graduations. I actually took it out to the one that I marked and I showed you earlier, it's way too tight. Um, this is a new chain and the old one was slack. So over time, you will be adjusting your chain and you should be looking at it, um, depending on how often you ride, maybe monthly. Um, if you're doing a hell of a lot of miles every week, maybe weekly. Um, so right, okay, so I am two or three mil shy of the last mark. So I've adjusted that out, and once I'm happy, I'm going to show you how we measure. It's it's total deflection of the chain, and it's on the um, the bottom run. This is going to be the most affected by gravity, and uh, the top the top the top has different chain tension, and the bottom is actually the longest um, run. So completely up, I'm measuring. I'm holding the tape measure against the swing arm. And then I'll look at, according with my eye, level. Uh, so it's not just through the camera, I'm actually looking at a different angle. And I can see it is 10 mil measuring, and then total deflection, 40. So 10 take away 40 is 30. So I've got 30 mil of chain deflection. Happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock off the, uh, the securing nut here. Um, Let's just do that. Okay, so that's lots this side in, the left side, bear with me while I'll do the right side. Now all that's left to do uh, on, on this procedure is to put on the washer and the nut. So let me do that. Uh, let's look up at the Haynes manual what it says the uh, torque uh, loading is and I'll get back to you. So I went away and had a look at the correct torque loading. We've got 94 um, pounds foot on the back here. Uh, also what you can see, I'll put this little, uh, this little carburetor valve there, just showing you that we only need to take it as far as the um, where the castellated nut lines up with the hole for the split pin. So I'm going to find a fresh split pin and get that pinned up so we can you can see as a you know safety device at a glance that that is still locked in place and it's not uh, it's not moved or migrated. So that's how we set up the tension on a chain. 